So today we're going to find out how to reduce the file size for your STL files so you can import them into Tinkercad. So for example, you may find something on Thingiverse or you may have created something and it's over the 25 meg limit of Tinkercad, which is extremely annoying. I wish they would get rid of that. But one simple way I found the easiest, honestly, in my opinion, to go around that is to use Fusion 360. Now, it is a free software for personal use, so feel free to download that. Now you're going to open up your STL file. It takes a little while here, and there's a couple of things we may need to do. The first thing, and in most cases, this will be the only thing you need to do. For large and complex shapes, there are a lot of faces that make up the detail of this model. And so we need to reduce the number of faces that this model has, and that will reduce the file size. So once you import it, here on the top, we have the mesh tab. We also have this reduce button. So hit reduce. Most of the time I leave these the way they are. You can play around with them if you want, but I always keep it adaptive. I keep it at 25. I find that this re doesn't reduce the detail in the model, but it really reduces the size of the model file size. So it's a perfect combination to really get going. So you could tell in the bottom right here, it's working. And once it's finished, you will just export this. And there's only one other potential issue you may have. So here you say, see it changes color. Let's go to export. I do STL binary. Now, typically by default, the send to 3D print utility is checked. You want to uncheck that. That is going, I mean, you can send it directly to Cura if you want, but I want to edit this in Tinkercad. So now let's go to our files and we see that the original file here was 28 kilobytes. Now we're only looking at 7,200. So that is perfect. We should be able to import this into Tinkercad. So it really is that simple. It, it, you just have to know what to do and what buttons to push. And then of course, this is the second potential issue you may, you may have. My shape was really big, it's huge. So it's not gonna let me import it. Thankfully, there's an easy way around it too. Select my object. And then under mesh tab again, there's the scale mesh button. You choose that. I'm gonna do 0.2. The size really doesn't matter because I'm going to resize it in Tinkercad anyhow. Then I'm gonna hit okay. And now it does. all this doesn't matter. Who cares what it looks like? Now export it again and I'm just gonna save over the last one. And if you notice, it's the same size, okay, because it's the same object, it's just scaled, but because now it is physically smaller, it doesn't, oh, wrong one, my bad. It doesn't exceed the limit here for Tinkercad. And so now what I'm gonna do is let this import. It will work uh, perfectly, but if you've imported STLs before, you know, you know it can take up to two minutes or longer to import this. So I'm gonna leave, come back, show you what it looks like, and then you hit the ground running and you're ready to rock. Okay, so my bandana just got imported. And again, you know, it's huge but I can easily reconfigure this, make it smaller. And you now have what you need in Tinkercad and you can play with it and edit and it will work perfectly. So you can edit and send to Cura. So I hope this was helpful to you. This is the most straightforward, fast way I know. If you have any questions or even if you found something that's an easier workaround, please let me know. Comment below and thank you for watching.